So the last couple of years I have been leveling some stuff with soil and last year I ended up having some extra stuff so I ended up moving it down to my creek bank and in hindsight everything seems like a good idea at the time because you just don't really have anywhere for it to go but then you have to realize that when you want to use it again you have to cart it all the way up the hill and out into the main area so that's not as much fun. So I spent a good chunk this morning kind of consolidating that into a pile and now I want to actually use some of it so I'm gonna get my soil sifter and go through and sift some of it so that I can use some and it should be as clean as possible. So this is a really simple little design. It's basically just some screen that I put in between these boards. I have a whole video on this from last season if you'd like to see sort of what I did with it, but it's pretty easy. This soil is good stuff to begin with, but it's really allowed me to get rid of anything that's in there, get just the finer material, and that's what I'm after, especially when I'm doing my leveling. So a lot of people ask me what this soil is or in my videos from last year, and if I were to just call it screened topsoil, that's basically what it is around here. But this is what our Iowa soil looks like. If I were to go dig into a field, most of it's all going to look very similar, very dark in color. And so this might not be what it looks like where you're at. We're lucky to have pretty good organic rich soil here and that's why a lot of things grow really well. Not just crops, but pretty much a lot of things in general. Now this is kind of wet, so it's not as easy to screen when it's wetter. We do have a lot of clay in our soil as well which this is actually a pretty good loamy mix. There is some sand in it too. So it's worked well for my leveling project, but there is some clay in there. You can tell it's not sifting down through. I have a really small screen on there as well, but you can tell it's not sifting down through like it would when it's really dry. So you're probably gonna see that this is really too wet to be doing this right now. I was giving it a test to see what would happen, but you see how this just gets gets really gummy because of all that clay material now. Just can't get it to really sift through there extremely well. So I think what I'm going to do is I got an area today that I want to work on. I was going to sift some of this and try to fill a few low spots in my low cut turf too, but I think I'll wait for it to dry out a little bit before I do that stuff. So it won't spread when it's really clumpy and wet like this. There is one other area that I'd like to fix some stuff on that really doesn't need to be sifted. So let's work on that. So once it is sifted though, really, really great fine material that you can level pretty well. There's a small amount of sand in it, just real nice and loamy, awesome. So this is the area in question over here. I've showed it to you many times before if you've been watching the channel, but there's just a bunch of bumpy spots in here. It's not filled in like I really want it to, so I'm tired of bringing my real mower over this and bumping all over the place. I'm gonna flatten out that area and make it nice and smooth. At least I can go up and down with my real mower and I will probably try to throw some seed on it yet. Seed growing this spring has been not a good scenario just because of our cold temperatures, but as soon as I see some weather coming where it looks warmer, also where we're going to get adequate moisture that I don't have to babysit it every single day. That's gonna be my plan then, is to try to get something growing on there then. Probably just throw ryegrass down. This whole area needs really some major renovation. Uh, I was waiting on that because we'd been working on our shed and trampling all this area all the time, so there was no point in me really caring about it too much. Knowing that fact, I just figured at some point I would renovate this area, but for the time being, I at least want to get this thing smooth so that I can bring my real mower over it and it's not a complete nightmare every single time. So it also comes back to the age old question of why am I using soil, should I be using sand to level, what's the best way. I made a sand leveling video this year very comprehensive about the scenarios in which sand is better and for leveling purposes only sand would probably be the better choice. But what I have in my soil right now is nearly identical to that actual topsoil that I'm going to be putting on here. So the ease of that and matching those two soils together is why I'm using soil and also that it's very easy to grow into. So most of the time whenever I've been doing these renovation projects, I also wanted to put down seed with it. And I talked about that in the sand video, but seeding into my soil that I'm using here, it's just a lot easier and the seed tends to grow better without some of the hard things that can happen with sand and 
drainage and making sure you have water on it constantly because it dries out fast and fertilizer doesn't stay as well either when you're working with sand so there's just some different things going on there but what I'm doing mainly is matching my soil profile that I have already it makes things easy and maybe it's not the exact perfect thing for leveling but I've been able to get it really close over the years for the time being I haven't gone down the sand road it's not to say that I'm not going to in the future it's very likely that I will be doing some sand work in the future but for right now especially these projects matching my soil profile with this topsoil it's just easy So I scalped that thing off pretty good and that's not typically something I would want to do but you need to get the grass down there far enough to see what's the low spots, what needs it and what doesn't and so the recovery will be okay on this. I need to be able to see things like this and also when you're spreading here in a second when I'll show you, you need to be able to actually spread through the grass. I might even try to cut it down lower if I find that that's a problem. I don't think it's going to be though. So preferably what I would have here would be just a light layer of soil to come in, put grass seed in, have it grow up to the exact same height as that. But I've been really trying to do that over time and this spring, as I said, just hasn't worked out. So I'm kind of tired of bumping through this area with my mower. I'm just gonna lay a heavier layer through here, get it nice and flattened out. And if that means that some of this gets sh cut shorter when I actually have grass seed there, that's just gonna be kind of how it is. Some of this is already established, some isn't. So. Whatever comes up in here, if I lay in some good soil, it may get cut slightly shorter than these areas that are already lower. But to me, I'd rather have this smooth and able to kind of work my mower through there right now than I'm worried about that part. Having this sifted would have been nice so that there aren't any of these clumps, but they will break up as I get working on this. All right, so I'm just gonna use this garden rake first, and then use my leveling tool. Right here I can see that I'm still, still decently low, so I'm gonna put some more in there and then see if I can level this all off. Now what I probably normally would do is get my roller out and actually roll this in and then I would be able to pack it down a little bit but it's so wet today that I'll probably let this dry out just a little and then I will try to roll it in once it's a little bit more dried out because it's sticky right now. So basically if you were doing your seeding right now the next step would simply be putting on your seed, lightly raking the seed, you can even roll it in after that if you'd like or just kind of pat it down a little and then put a light layer of peat moss on top, that would be perfect. Uh, this would be a good candidate for me to use that peat moss spreader that I showed in my spring overseeding video. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. Oh, and by the way, I've got a special little part on this video coming here at the end that for some of you who've watched my channel before know I do something called bonus footage. Got a little segment for you, so stay tuned for that. Sometimes it's just necessary to fix those low spots and get something else going there. So I hope this helped you today, and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Pizza rolls at 2 a.m. I've lived the life of a night owl for as long as I can remember. A few moments tucked away in the basement, escaping in YouTube videos that renew my soul. I spent most of the winter riding my lawn guide, and of course, waiting for the season to start. Did you dream did you want from the life set before? 2020 has been different for all of us. I've been stuck in my house since last November, and at this point, it feels like I need an escape. You were strong. Did you run like the devil to the dawn? Were you a sailor? Did you catch the wind? Command the 
Iowa doesn't have many lakes like the one I grew up around in Minnesota, but we certainly take advantage of the rivers. Floating on this muddy water is something I become quite fond of. Time runs over. The much needed sunshine and an occasional stop along the way. You return to who you were when you were young. If you haven't washed down a peanut butter sandwich with some strawberries and a blue moon, you're simply not living. When you think about it, the river's a lot like life in so many ways. Sometimes things are murky and sometimes things are clear. Sometimes it's calm and carrying you along, and sometimes you're paddling like crazy straight into the wind. Then there's a pivotal moment when an obstacle stands in your way that forces you off the path you thought you were going to go. But you have to believe you'll find your way because somehow in the end, you always get where you're supposed to go. Questions. I'm asking you.